Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. You see me holding a deck of cards in your hand. That means this originally aired on the weekend, right? So maybe you're not watching this on the weekend, but I upload new deck reviews every Saturday and Sunday. This channel originally started off purely as a way for me to show off my uh, deck collection. I was just raising awareness about card collecting. Uh, that's all I ever set out to be. I kind of stumbled into this uh, magic review channel by accident, really, because people asked me to, but my, my first love is playing cards. And so it's my pleasure to bring you a new deck of cards every single weekend. Today, not a new deck of cards. <laughs> this is an older deck. This is Republic number three from Illusionist and Jeremy Griffith. Jeremy Griffith, if you don't know, Los Angeles, great follow, great guy to follow over on social media and an absolute amazing talent. He is such a good card magician, it's ridiculous. If you're not following uh, Jeremy or you're not aware of him, please go check out his socials. Uh, he is he's incredible. This, Republic number three, is obviously the third in the series, right? There was Republic number two, which I actually reviewed uh, back in 2019. So 2019, uh, September 19th of 2019. How weird. Uh, yeah, uh, I reviewed number two, but this is number three. I only picked this up because of uh, Illusionist's last email. So they sent out an email and they were like, oh, you know, custom cards are dead and we're trying to get rid of our inventory. We're gonna mark down all of our cards. So if you want them, hurry, hurry down and get them. So I raced down to Illusionist and I bought most of the uh, clearance decks that they had. This deck was one of the clearance decks. Surprisingly, number one, it's not clearance anymore. So the price on it is back to $13, but also, it didn't sell out. So it didn't sell out and you can still get this, which is why I'm reviewing it for you. It'd be kind of lame if I reviewed it, but then at the end said, you can no longer buy it because it is now sold out. Look at this tuck case. Isn't this cool? This uh, cigar band that you see wrapped around, that is on there. It is on there, on there. So it's not something that's gonna slide off and you're gonna end up losing it. So that's kind of cool. It says number three, Republic at the top there. Lost Angeles edition, except no imitations. Fine quality playing cards, 56 pieces. And as you can see, it wraps all the way around. You got Jeremy Griffith's autograph there on the back, plus a tiny 10 of spades reveal. And it says, take nothing for granted. You wanna see something else that's pretty cool? Check this out. Look at that. Printed inside tuck lining, all done in Erdnay's green. Let's check out the cards. And because Jeremy's a card guy, right? He's got an edge to edge full bleed deck, which means it's really gonna hide your second deals and your poker routines. So look at that beautiful repeated pattern. It's absolutely gorgeous. Looks a lot like a casino deck would. Uh, and with that vintage colorway, I think it, it really is striking. That's a really gorgeous back design. Um, similar, of course, to the other republics, but done in this really beautiful dark foresty green. Are you gonna get gaff cards? Of course you're gonna get gaff cards. You're gonna get a double backer, which is awesome. And you'll get this nine of spades, 10 of spades. Ooh, did you see that coming? Probably didn't see that coming. And then of course you'll get two jokers, uh, similar in uh, looks, but a little difference in color. So you have a filled in green on this, and then it's white here with the cross arrows, the feather, the mountain and the star, and it says joker at the top of each card. Going through the faces, you're gonna see that they look like other Republic decks. Got the two feathers there, making the Ace of Spades, it says Republic. Uh, Illusionist said the pips and indices are a little bigger. I don't know how, they're <laughs> still really small. So very small pips and indices in the corner. Original layout on each one of the cards, right? Such a standard layout, which could make gameplay uh, a little strange, but I don't think people sit there and look at pip layout as much as magicians do. Borderless court cards, and for the most part, uh, standard, right? Blacks are black, reds are red. Got the red coloring popping out in the courts as well. Pretty standard courts, right? 
pretty standard quartz, except for the fact that the border is missing. It could be a little shrunken in, more negative space. I think that's what I see more on the faces of these cards. It's just a lot more negative space, lots more white, correct, on each card. But overall, a beautiful deck. The other thing we like to do around here is weigh them and measure them so that you know exactly how thick the cards are so that you might uh, get some idea of how they might feel in your hands. 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.77, which is really standard for a Cardamundi deck. Cardamundi is pretty consistent about its thickness. And so this is gonna feel pretty much just like any other uh, luxury E7 stock from Cardamundi. Well, that's it. That's everything I can say about the Republic number three, Jeremy Griffith, the Lost Angeles edition. And like I said, you can pick these up at illusionist.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place, kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.